when Food Jones back, same shirt, it was right so tonight. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch more movies. And this one is not out of the box, it's out of the digital world, and it is Dark with the C. Have I seen Dark with the C? No. So let me go watch Dark with the C and I'll let you know what I think of Dark with the C. Alright, don't look farther away. If you watch my return thing, I had a white glare and I can't fix it for some reason. So I'm backing up a little bit. Is it better or worse? I don't know. But we're gonna try it right here today. So I just got another one to Dark, which was on Netflix. What is it about? About an American kid and his mom is in Japan. The mom is in uh, one of those sex houses, brothels. I don't know what they're called. And so the kid kind of has to witness the stuff in his mom's workplace. He witnesses his mom get killed by the Yakuza. Now fast forward to the States. Now he is in Los Angeles and a cop, Interpol agent, came to him saying, my daughter is in the sex trafficking ring now and I need you to get her out and now he goes into the Yakuza which is the same members who killed his mother so now it's all out brawl to the wall action revenge movie so what did I like about this movie well for being a straight to digital movie as well as it was pretty low budget the action sequences were pretty nice like the hand-to-hand -hand combat and the car chases they're actually pretty well storyboard for a movie like this because some movies straight to DVD you expect to be kind of trash fight scenes but these are actually better than some fight scenes I've seen in actual theoretical run movies. So that's good. The acting is okay by some of the characters. Some of them's bad, some of it's good. So overall the acting I could say was okay. The directing was also pretty well directed with the action scenes. You there are some cut editing of like he punches here, then you see a punch from here or a punch from here. But other times you actually see everything going on. There are some character kills you don't expect to happen. So you're like, oh, that just happened. So having some shock value in this is actually really good. And there is good blood and guts in this movie as well. Bad about the movie, it's just a ho-hum movie movie of a revenge story. A lot of the characters aren't likable as well as the story is very ho-hum and you could just see it coming from a mile away. It's very, very, very predictable movie. Like from the beginning you know exactly what's going to happen. There's nothing special about the writing. No twists and turns except a couple of death scenes. You're like, okay, that got me. But other than that, you know exactly what's going to happen throughout this movie. Like verbatim. So it's a quick watch, hour and a half movie on Netflix. If you like the Japanese culture, I say watch it or like Yakuza, I feel like this was trying to be like outrage or beyond outrage, but it just couldn't because this is also filmed in Canada, not Japan. The light is coming back. If I come closer now, it's even worse. I don't know anymore. So we're just gonna stay here. But anywho, Dark. Why is it called Dark? There's a comic book called Dark he used to read when he was a kid and the Japanese would call him Dark. Also, I guess with the story, there's a lot of backstory they don't talk about. Like there's one scene where he's young in Japan and he's in jail and he's kind of with kids in jail. Like, no joke. Like, does Japan have a jail where it's like 10 year olds in there? I don't know. But then I was like, oh, this is a kind of cool subplot. How does he get in the ranks of the jail? and get his tattoos because the Japanese people are like, how do you get your tattoos? They kind of don't explain the whole jail scene. So that's kind of a bummer. Good about Dark. Some actually pretty well thought out action sequences. I mean, solid acting by the characters. I mean, there's nothing bad about them. They're supposed to play what they're supposed to play. And the tone and the pace of the movie was really good. Bad, the atmosphere, you could totally tell they're trying to do Japan, but it wasn't Japan. It was Canada. It was kind of bluntly you can figure that out real easy. And the script, yeah, I've been there, done that before. It was one of those movies where there's nothing wrong with it. it good action. You just kind of shrug it off because it's just there to be there. It really is. So Dark will receive a 2 out of 5 blue futons, which equals a 40%. Actually, this was kind of hard for me to pick. Here comes the light again. Uh, see, I also have a lamp here. I'm just calling lamp. But I guess I have no idea. This never happens before. I don't know if it's the outside window. I don't know why it's bothering me so much, but you get to watch me rant about this. But anyway, dark. Gave it a 40%. I feel like I could go a little higher to maybe a 50%. But I guess when you rethink about this movie, the only redeeming factor is the action. If you have good action, I mean, that's good in a movie, but. When you don't have a story, it's been there, done that human trafficking movie. You kind of want to add some depth to it. Even though you can tell the action is good, you can also tell it's kind of low budget. Which, you can't really fault a movie for being that. But Dark will get a 40%. Would I watch it though again? I think so, because the action was pretty good. But let's see what users and critics on Rotten Tomato gave this movie. Alright, there's no tomato meter for the critics. Audience score of 33% with no critic consensus. There is one review from Movie Nation that says, Can't make a decent Yakuza thriller 
in Vancouver. Well, a lot of movies are made in Vancouver and Canada now, so I mean, what can you do? But anywho, Dark, have you seen it? Are you like the critics? I only have one. I think it was a one and a half out of four. So that is a 5.25. That's close to a almost my score, actually, a 40% ish, if I could do a quick math in my head. But hey, so do you agree with the critics? Nothing. The user scores 33 or my 40%. Chase second the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Blue Futon Utopia. You Blue Futonians, thank you for watching and have a great day. More of the story, don't be caught in the Yakuza because I don't think white people are supposed to be in the Yakuza. Yeah, that's a Japanese thing. No, no Yakuza. There's no kings in general. We're the queen of life, people.